Good morning everyone. I'm so sorry about the color of my background and everything. The flash is not working on my phone. Today I will be talking about since we're in the corona fever. Oh wow, look who joined me. Oh my. Come, come say hello. Say hello. Look in the camera. <laughs> okay, so because we're in the corona, you know, season, come, go. Go on. Alright, and um yeah so back to what i was saying so pretty much corona is happening right now it's so unfortunate that so many persons died um may their soul rest in peace stop um i just pretty much want to talk about two things today two um major form of forms of lung infection i want to talk about tuberculosis <laughs> and tuberculosis and also pneumonia um yeah so i'm going to start with tuberculosis first Brushy, stop it. Mwah. Okay, so tuberculosis, um, what it is, it's a bacterial infection caused mainly of the lungs, caused mainly by the microbacterium tuberculosis and the microbacterium bovis, right? There are other etiological agents that can result in tuberculosis, but these two microbacterium are the two main types that result in this disease. So what happens is that the bacterium is actually a bacilli, so it's rod shape. Because it's a microbacterium, it has a microbacterium cell wall, so it's it's not digested easily, right? It's not it cannot be tested using a gram stain as well. We have to use the acid fast or the zeal niacin test to test um this bacteria. So pretty much what happens is that when the bacteria enters or body you know it goes into our lungs <laughs> goes into our lungs or immune cells for example or macrophages eosinophil neutrophil basophil etc etc these cells come into play in this specific infection though the macrophages are the one who will be attacking this bacteria so like for example if you have an allergic or a parasitic infection the eosinophil will come in play some in bacterial infection we have um um neutrophil producing pus pus cells but in this one we have the macrophages even though it's a bacterial infection the macrophages is the one who will be going to attack this bacteria so what happened because the bacteria as i mentioned it has a microbacterium cell wall it is so tough so it's not digested easily by the macrophages so what happened is that the macrophages say, all right then, me not digest, you know, me not going to make you kill off my body. So here I go go on, me go surround, you know, and me go prevent you know, from going nowhere else. Me go keep you know, static, right? So it's pretty much like playing, what the game name? Bully in a pen can't come out, you know, them surround you and them say it can't come out. So that's what happened. So when this happens, we call, it, is, it forms what we call a granuloma. And in this case, it is a caseating granuloma because it has a cheesy like texture and an appearance, right? So it causes a caseating granuloma, and it keep it try the macrophages try to keep it try to keep it static as best as possible, so it doesn't go and affect elsewhere in the body. It just stays in the lungs. So we have two primary form of tuberculosis. We have the primary. We have two forms of tuberculosis. Sorry, we have the primary pulmonary tuberculosis usually this is asymptomatic in the event the patient the infection is so severe and the patient does experience symptoms they will have a, a, a purulent uh, cough purulent cough a productive cough sorry purulent sputum they will also experience chest tightness chest pains with hemophysis so hemophysis is the coughing up of blood right so the other form of tuberculosis is the extra pulmonary tuberculosis, where extra means outside. So pretty much what the cat the catch. Pretty much what happens is that this granuloma that I was telling you about, it sometimes breaks off out of the lungs and goes and lodges and stays in other places and go and find resident, pick up residents somewhere else in the body. So <laughs> for example, it can result in a cold abscess. 
So when it when it goes down to the ankle and it gets lodged in a probably an artery or a vein, it can result in an edema edema forming, which is a buildup of interstitial fluid, a fluid in the inter interstitial space. So that causes a cold abscess where your ankle swell and get big and red and mm, don't look good at all. It don't look good. So yeah, so that's that's pretty much what the extra pulmonary tuberculosis is. It can also goes into the heart. You know, into the heart. Um. The art muscle, not the muscle, sorry, the art space is like the artery is the vein, pulmonary artery, pulmonary vein, probably in the atrium as well. And this can, don't come up here. And this can result in peri pericarditis. <laughs> okay, guys, so my cat here, him decides to listen, I'm not enough video today. <laughs> what a man. So, guys, I'm going to come back and I'm going to talk more on this along with pneumonia. Because there are several types of pneumonia. There are several types of pneumonia and several different <laughs> etiological agents. And when I say etiological agents, I mean like bacteria, viruses, and stuff like that. That results in pneumonia. So, I'll be right back. <laughs>